Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F4 Phantom today. And uh, we're going to be trying to find and shoot down some MiGs. MiG 21s of course. And uh, meanwhile we're going to try to stay alive ourselves. We do have a bit of a hostile environment in front of us. SA2s, you know, all that good stuff. Multiple SA2s, multiple MiGs out there looking for us, trying to hunt. So, I'm going to hope that we can get the drop on them. This is the new F4 mod by VSN. This is not the heat blur F4, okay. This is just what we got until that comes out. Um, be sure, I'll let you know when that comes out. You can absolutely be certain about that. And before we get into the nitty gritty of today's video, uh, I'll mention something I mentioned yesterday. I launched a new channel called Mini Docs. That's for all of you who are into the whole history documentary stuff we do here from time to time. That now has its own dedicated channel where, you know, we'll do other things as well instead of just aviation. So if you're into that kind of thing, please check that out and uh, subscribe over there. Okay, so we are headed into where I believe the SA-2 radars are. According to the RWR, it's also telling me that as well. And theoretically, as long as I head in this direction, I should find myself some contacts. At least my radar should see something. This is my radar right here. Um, currently it's clean. There's nothing there, but I'm sure we'll find something at some point. Flying a little bit lower. Oh, I think I think that's an SA-2 radar. Uh, so I am flying lower, trying to make it a little bit difficult for those SA-2s to to launch on me. But we'll see how well that works out. Still have nothing on radar, but I figure if I head in this general direction, I should find something to shoot down. Uh, we are carrying the Sidewinders today and uh, Sparrows as well. So we should possibly be able to score a kill. The Sparrows, as you guys know, notoriously a not a good missile <laughs> at the beginning of its lifespan at least. It gets a little bit better as time goes by, but generally speaking it had a lot of duds and uh, you know a lot of misfires and things like that. Missiles that don't track, go stupid, that whole thing. Uh, now, talking about the MiG-21s, MiG-21 when it comes to dogfighting against uh, the F-4, doesn't have a great track record. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the uh, or heard about Operation Bolo. We have something on the radar here, by the way. Um, every MiG-21 that got into a dogfight with an F-4, almost all were unlucky and were killed. This is uh, AIM-7 in the air here on this guy. Uh, MiG-21s were mostly successful when they were able to ambush and uh, score a quick kill and then run away. Uh, that missile went stupid. Uh, Alright. That missile didn't work. I guess we'll switch over to Sidewinders. Let's see if we can get a kill. Fox 2. It looked like it tracked. Did it? Oh, there it is. Alright, splash one make 21 here. And we're gonna have to get out of here. I can't hang out here for too long because uh, his buddies are gonna show up and want to see what happened. I don't want to be here when they show up. So we're gonna go ahead and try to bug out of this area. Possibly some uh, SA2s up ahead. Oh, 
Oh, we got a missile in the air. So I was correct. We are within the vicinity of an SA-2. I'm going to defend it here. I don't think we're too close to it. I can't even see the missile launch. I think we're good. The tone went away too. I think we defeated it already. Got lucky. Now, I think you could definitely make a case that the F-4 was intended to be an interceptor and to be used in that role. Um, you know, there's definitely a case to be made for that, especially the initial ones that came without a gun. You don't have very good rear visibility on this thing. It kind of is expected to behave like an interceptor, but it seemed to be pretty good at dogfighting too. It, you could also chalk that up to, you know, the, the better training that the Americans may have had when it came to dogfighting. But generally, whenever the F-4 got in a dogfight with a MiG-21, it almost always won. The MiG-21s, when they come up, they ambush, they come out of nowhere, they shoot a Fox 2, they get the kill, and they run away. You know, they generally tried not to engage in these kind of dogfights with the F-4. Um, and when they did that, they were highly successful. I don't want to make it sound like the Vietnamese did not use their MiG-21s successfully. Because they certainly did that. We have something on radar here to the, uh, to the left side. See if we can get a lock on this. Come on. Come on. Headed right at him now. Give me the lock, bud. Come on. There we go. Fox 1. There he is, right in front of me, too. That missile's tracking. Impact. Splash 1, MiG 21. Getting really good performance from the AIM 7s today. Not bad, got two MiG-21s under my belt. It's alright, the radar is really good. It's really nice to be able to spot these MiGs uh, from a head-on. If they get behind me though, it's, uh, it's going to be a real issue. So, really trying hard to avoid that. Trying not to get jumped, essentially. You gotta keep an eye out for those SA-2s too, those are dangerous. Just gonna go ahead and fall back a little bit here. Extend away from that wreckage of that last MiG-21. In case anybody else shows up to check out what happened over there. I got SA-2s behind me as well, so that's good. Just fall back, regroup. Figure out what's going on. AIM-7 selected. We'll go ahead and turn back around. And see if we can get lucky and spot anybody else. Those SA-2s are constantly searching for me. Like They're not happy that I'm here. <laughs> but uh, you can't blame them. Man, the, the some of the stories you hear about these F-4 guys, you know, and really all the pilots of Vietnam, there's some crazy things that happened. There's some really interesting interviews you can watch here on YouTube. Uh, but the F-4, man, to fly this thing in Vietnam, I'm sure it was both a beautiful thing and a terrifying thing, you know. Both of those things were probably true at the same time. <laughs> Uh, off ahead, I see a little black speck, but it turned out to be a parachute from the last guy. Um, heading towards the RWR contacts now. Hoping to get lucky. See if we can find another MiG-21. You guys are going to have to let me know exactly how excited you are about the uh, F-4 by Heepler. I don't know, I don't have any insider information on that, but I think it's not too far away. I think the only bet to be placed is what comes first, the F-15E or the F-4 Phantom. Uh, Razbam or Heepler. You guys, let me know in the comment section what you think. I'm genuinely curious what you guys think. I think it might be the Eagle. I don't know. I think the Eagle might come first, but we'll see. Uh, radar here. We got a contact slightly to the right. Try to lock him up here. Got him locked. Very nice. Fox 1. There it goes. God, these AIM-7 Sparrows are actually tracking pretty nice today. <laughs> Look at that. Come on. Only the first one kind of went stupid on me. A splash. Wow. All right. We got another one. That's three MiGs. All right.
It is a good day to be in the F4. Three kills. Alright, let's head into that city, see if we can find anybody else. You know, I, I might be getting a little greedy here, but I still got some missiles left, so I'd like to head in there and see what's going on. We have a... Oh, we have a SAM launch. I'm going to turn away from it. And try to roll. He should be on that side. Over there somewhere. Oh, look at all that smoke. Yeah, there's a lot of missiles in the air. <laughs> there's like four missiles right now. Alright, so we're going to defend that diving down here. I think we're going to make it. We'll be alright. It's no big deal. A couple of SA-2s. Alright, another SA-2 launch over there now. It's alright. SA-2 never hurt anybody. That's not true. Defeated the last four. I think I can defeat these two. Oh, one just went right behind me there. <laughs> I think we got real lucky with that one. Oh, 